I'm so confused. Uh, Lexus Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Lexus Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, super sunny day. What is up? Happy Wednesday. Today's video, we are thrifting my mom's clothes. I got so many requests to do a part two and luckily, again, my mom has a lot of clothes. And so today we basically are gonna be going through these tubs of clothes. This one is so heavy and my mom literally was like, I don't think I've gone in it for like 10 years. The last one I did, I found so many gems, including the top I'm wearing right now. I'm pretty sure it was my dad. To be honest, I kind of feel either like a pirate or like a 50 year old man going to the yacht club or something, but I'm kind of feeling the look. Before we get started, I did just want to thank everyone for your support on Sunday's video. If you guys don't know, 100% of the AdSense of that video will be donated to Black Lives Matter Fund. So if you guys have been wanting to find different ways to donate with no money, that's a really great option because all you have to do is watch the video. But we're just going to talk about some clothes, take a break for a sec, chill, hang out, all of, all of that. All of that, yes. So I figure we'll start with this tub just because there's not a top on it and I can see it. Like the element of surprise isn't there. We are first gonna start with this huge bag full of scarves actually. So my grandma was super into scarves. She was into bows. Honestly, she was just an extra queen and I just really appreciate it. And these are all of her scarves. Well, not all of her scarves. Actually, my mom has two big drawers full of more of her scarves. So this is just, you know, a little bit of them. And when I was going through my mom's closet, I was like, these scarves are beautiful. And I personally have really gotten into the trend of like putting almost like a bandana style in your hair, whether it's like tied or kind of that like Pinterest cool girl type of feel. Trying to find nice like hair scarves is actually kind of difficult and especially like vintage because they can be quite expensive. And I know if I went to the thrift store, I would be able to find some that were quite cheap. So now I'm able to get some that are free. I have technically looked through some of these scarves, so I have spoiled it for me. The first one is this beautiful animal print scarf. Now this is definitely more like an actual scarf. I wouldn't be able to do the whole like bandana like Thing. If I wanted to do something like that, love the different types of animal print. I'm not gonna go through every single scarf in here because there is so many, but I do have a few that I already kind of liked at the top. So I'm gonna go through that. I also found this beautiful scarf. Look how cool this is. Oh my goodness. And here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we do something like Something, I mean, cuter than this, but something like this. And then this one I just thought was beautiful. Like, look at this ivory. So cute. Then this one is super, it's like a blue floral one. I am seriously so obsessed. I feel, I, I'm just really happy. Is it cute? Yeah, this one's nice. I don't know. Like, again, my mom's gonna be keeping all of these. So if I'm like, oh, I'm gonna pass on it now, I can technically like go get it back. Oh, this is nice. This is like a nice like neutral. Ooh, it's like different colors of coffee. These are some of her bows that I think are so beautiful. This one's so pretty. This is a really intense pink one. I'm gonna say no. Do, 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 do. It's like such a nice blush pink. Yes, ooh, this is nice. Are you kidding me? It totally reminds me of that like cottage core type of vibe on Pinterest. Wow, it has like it be like that? I don't think I'm doing that right, but I think I'm okay. I'm definitely gonna have to give my mom a new bag because I already, I mean, it was basically broken already. I just like broke it more. So we will just put that on the side. Let's go through this. My mom said that I will get laughs out of this tub. I see like two Disney things in here, so I don't know if she's talking about that. We have this, which I definitely remember my mom wearing. It's originally from Disneyland, and it's just this fuzzy, like Mickey zip up and I'm definitely gonna keep it. I think this is awesome. Super fuzzy and again I love a good Disney item which then she has a Tinkerbell one. I definitely remember her wearing them when we would go to Disneyland. It just like this just says Tink. Oh I don't know if I said it but it'll be similar to how I made my last video where I go through all the bins and I pick up the items that I want to keep and then I try them on. It would take so long to try on every single piece. Like I know a lot of people got mad at me in the last video that that there were certain things I didn't try on, but like it, it would take a long time. I am sorry, this video is probably gonna be long anyway. Uh, we have this 
skirt, which is originally from MSK. It is in a large and it's just a black like skirt, long skirt. It has glitter on it. Like I don't know if you can see, but there's some like little glitter. I'm gonna say no to it because I don't really wear skirts that often and also especially not a glittery skirt. Oh my gosh, uh, I was trying to figure out there's like a certain smell in this box. Like not a bad smell, but a plastic rubbery smell. And I just realized it's because my rain boots from when I was a kid are in here. Not going to really touch them. They do not smell good. Yeah, so some of the stuff is mine. I mean, I don't really think, oh, what's this? A princess pillowcase. Story time. When I was 18, I decided one day that I wanted a Disney princess bedroom. And I know you're probably thinking, Alexa, you were 18. Why did you want a Disney princess bedroom? Honestly, because I just wanted it. So I literally bought a kid Disney princess bedding set that lit up. And I even got like wall decals of Disney princesses. Sometimes I wonder why senior year in high school I didn't have friends. And I think that's why, but I don't care. I was true to myself. I don't have a reason to keep this, but I feel like there's a sentimental value with it. I'm gonna keep it. I know. I, I don't know why I just need to. This shirt is technically mine. I got it when I went to Hawaii for the very first time. I went when I was 18. And I remember when I got it, I was like, I'm never gonna wear that. And guess what? I never wore it. This kind of style shirt was super popular when I was in high school and I was never crafty enough to do it to any of my own shirts so I just bought one and then never wore it. This is a maybe, I don't know. We have a Forever 21 tank top that I got. It was my workout tank top and you know what? I'm gonna keep it. Some dickies in here. <gasps> oh my god. Another little story time. When I was in high school I would go to Disneyland all the time. I mean I still go, well I did go to Disneyland all the time. When I was in high school I had a boyfriend for like two years and we would go to Disneyland sometimes, like it wasn't really like our thing, but he had bought me like different Disney pins. And basically when we broke up, I was upset looking at this lanyard full of Disney pins. Not all of them were from him, but some of them were. And you would think I would be like, you know what? I'm gonna take those Disney pins that he gave to me and I'm gonna trade them at Disneyland because if you don't know, at Disneyland you can trade pins. No, no, I didn't think like that. And I thought I threw it away. Like I could have so worn that I threw it away. Well, it's in here. I can trade the pins that he gave me and that I don't like anymore. This is the biggest win. Honestly, I didn't really have that many pins, but think about it. These are pins that I can trade and get new ones. Okay, so back to the clothes. Sorry for that little intermission. This Adidas top, not really my jam. I'm gonna say goodbye. This one is from Cable and Gal. Not a big fan of this. Oh, we got another Disney tank top little glittery Disney tank top. I'm gonna say no to this. I definitely remember my mom wearing that. She loves like hot pink. What? Okay, so this is my Disney Cinderella t-shirt that I got when I was in a Cinderella play. Was I like 11? I can't believe I still have this. Ah! I mean, it's not like the cutest shirt in the world, but it does have that sentimental value. I really wanted to be Cinderella. I was quite a tall 11 year old. And so they ended up casting me as the evil stepmother. I worked that role and yeah, this is just the shirt. Then we have this. Oh my gosh, I totally remember this. This one is from Disneyland and you know, it's Mickey as Santa. And of course I'm gonna keep this. Good time. Wow, don't know what that is. Just a pink tank top and then this like bag. And yeah, I think that's the majority of the stuff that was in there. Let's open this one now. Oh, I see a white, oh, it has some like foundation on it. I think I, I think I can clean it. Mm. I don't think it's my size, so I'm not gonna keep it. And it has some stains. It's originally from Karen Scott. Literally beautiful. Dude, what are you? This is originally from Marina. And I definitely remember my mom wearing this. It has like beads on it. It's a brown tank top. I mean, nothing too crazy going on with it. It's not really my jam. So I'm gonna say no to that. Ooh, this is a cool shirt. It's originally from Leslie Faye Sportswear and it is a white button up and I freaking love this. It's like a satin material and it has kind of that like pirate vibe. I don't know, maybe I'm just into like pirate wear or something. I think it has really cool like frills on the front. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep this. And then we have this that's originally from Kimmy Collection. It looks like this. 
it has some shoulder pads that actually come out it kind of has like a windbreaker feel to it it's not like it goes like that it's just completely open so i guess like you wear a tank top under it i don't know i'm gonna say no to it because of that this was my mom's it's a black cardigan with like little black jewels on it i'm gonna say no to that oh this is fun it's like a button up with some embellishments on the side it's originally from sns collection and it okay that's interesting it's kind of like a cardigan or like a shawl because there's no button so it's not like a button up shirt i'm gonna say no to it because i'm not really like a lover of like cardigan style things like it either has to be a blazer or a denim jacket other than that i just don't really like wear anything like a vest i don't know <laughs> it's a blue button up with this like scarf neck thing and i'm gonna say no to it i really really like the color it's this like really nice royal blue it's just not really like my jam so i'm gonna put that to the side this one is a black turtleneck it has little beads on it it's originally from sag harbor oh, this is a nice cardigan though oh my gosh it's originally <coughs> sorry there's like them this it's originally from yarn work it's in a medium and it's this really nice purple cardigan and it also has what's this called velcro it has like a velcro shoulder pad there's like fuzzy in my eye ah. yeah this is super cute i really like the color again not really into cardigans so i'm gonna say no to that but really really nice and i think she has another one almost exactly the same it's literally oh it's by karen scott this time but it's blue again not really into cardigans so we're gonna say no oh my goodness this looks really cute oh it's shoulder pad has disintegrated just looks like this i think that's super nice and super funky i'm gonna say no to it because i don't think i would wear it but i think it's really cool oh this is interesting it's like a suede button up it's originally from smh boutique and it looks like this not really my vibe so i'm not gonna go for it there's another cardigan from yarn work again and basically the exact same thing in pink and here's another one originally from side effects it is in a medium it's from jc pennies originally it has the original jc penny tag on there for 44 dollars. and yeah it's just a red cardigan my mom just loves to buy the same thing in multiple colors i mean it's not the same thing it's a different style and a different brand but basically the same thing my mom has a chargers t-shirt in here i totally remember when she would wear this got a karen scott skirt oh my gosh this shirt my mom would wear all the time it's like a shirt and a shirt oh that's interesting is it a shirt i think it is just looks like that it's just a button up not really feeling it so i'm gonna say no we have a very bright pink uh cardigan shawl from faded glory just looks like this we have this cream sweater from counterparts it's in a medium and it has like glitter and like floral and gold glitter super pretty i really really like the color of it i'm gonna say no to it my mom is definitely more into like suit wear and you know i'm dabbling in it i mean i'm wearing a button-up shirt which i would have never worn like a year ago so i'm evolving all right so now for this next one which my mom has no idea what's inside of it and i have no idea what's inside of it obviously and it's like pretty big like and pretty heavy wow okay there's a lot in here all right so we have some blown oh it's like a skirt uh not really feeling it gonna say no got some purple pants these ones are not my size so we are going to say no super cute though really nice like plum purple it's originally from hillard and hansen another thing of black pants these ones are also hillard and hansen this one is originally from allison taylor and it's this beautiful red button up and honestly I'm kind of feeling this one it has like a really nice red like fabric detail i think that's so nice i'm gonna say yes so this one i'm gonna say no to because i'm not in love with the color but it's a really nice wine red it's originally from lauren lee yeah super beautiful i just don't think i would really wear it this i freaking love i don't know why i love it but it's just like this yellow gold and it's just so like in 
your face. I've actually been looking for a shirt just like this. It basically looks like a pajama shirt, but like it just seems so classy. This is just so cool. I am really, really liking this. I'm gonna say definitely yes to that. This is originally from Maggie London Blouses. It is in a size 12. I'm not a super animal print person. I like animal print, but sometimes it can just be very intense. I could rock this, so we're gonna say yes to it. This is originally from Christy Jill. It is so beautiful. Like, look at the front, the way the buttons are, the lace. This is such a beautiful, beautiful top. It does have some stains, so I'm gonna say no to it. This green button up, I also am freaking loving. I'm feeling it. It's originally from Cause, C-H-A-U-S and Co. And I think it's really cool. Like, I just think this with even just jeans, just to kind of create a very casual look. Also, the fact that they also have hangers on there, like, thank you, mom. This one is originally from Karen Scott. It still has the tag on there. It was $30. I like it. I think that it's a nice like tan. It's just not really my style. So I'm going to say no to it. This I'm also going to say no to. It's originally also from Karen Scott. My mom got it on sale. Reduced from $30 to $17. So like good for you on getting those deals. This is a really nice top. I really like that powder pink. It's originally from Evan Pacone. I'm not going to keep it just because it has this like tie thing and I'm just not really feeling it. This one, I think I'm also going to say no to. It has this like little ruffle detail on the front. Really nice color. It's got some shoulder pads as well. It's just not really like, again, my thing. Interesting. It's kind of has like a vest with it. It's from Liz Baker. I'm going to say no to that. This top, and again, it's kind of like an animal print top and it's not really my favorite like style. It's originally from Epic New York. And yeah, I'm going to say no to it. This this is a tank top. It's just a black tank top. It is quite see-through and I don't really love the texture of it. Kind of like a chiffon texture. I think this is almost, not a cardigan, but kind of like a shawl, like laser type that's supposed to go with it because it's made with the exact same fabric. So I'm going to say no. This is interesting. It's from Girl. It was $47.99. It was originally $69 and it's this like blue jacket. I just don't think I would wear it. So I'm going to say no. Oh, actually my mom got it for $29 and 99 cents. So went from 69 to 47 to 29. Like don't think I would wear it. Just looks like that. This just a pink top has almost like a, like a mock neck on it. And it's really pretty. I, again, just don't think I would wear it. It's originally from Bedford Fair. Ooh, we got another Karen Scott top. It's this really funky, like purple satin button up and it has this like really cool like embellishment. I think it's an awesome top. I'm not going to keep it just because I don't really wear purple that often and I just don't know or oh this comes off actually. Am I a purple girl? I don't know. I mean this is really cool. I just think I prefer it without it. You know what? I'm going to keep it. I'm going to yeah I'm just going to go for it. This jacket not my fave. Don't like the material. It's originally from requirements. It's very fuzzy and a shedding. We have a skirt I think. It's a really nice like color. I don't know if it's my size. It's really like it's really beautiful. I mean I could like cut it. Just don't think I would really like wear it. We'll put it to the side. We'll think about it. Got a raincoat in here. Awesome. Nothing too extravagant. We then have this dress. I'm so confused. Honestly, I kind of just want to try it on just for funsies. Why not? Oh, this is supposed to go... Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is a tank top for the skirt and then it also has like a cardigan for it. And it goes, I'm gonna say no. This is originally from Miss New York and it's just a jacket. It has a lot of like fuzzies and things on it. So trying to not like move it too much. I'm gonna say no to that. We have a blazer from Norton. It is in a size 14, so I'm not gonna keep it just cause it's not my size, but looks like this beautiful powder blue, like really, really nice. I do wish it wasn't my size because it's so beautiful. Okay, and then we have something. Okay, I'm not gonna take it out of here, but it's literally just a black blazer. There's anything like too crazy going with it. So there's like, in my opinion, no reason to take it out, but maybe I'll just show you a little. This looks like this. Got some more blazers. This is like a dark blue blazer. This one is originally from Hillard and Hanson. It's just a black 
dress or no sorry it's not a dress it's a black skirt this one is also from hillard and it is just a tan skirt it's not my jam so i'm gonna put that to the side so there's mostly just blazers and like suit wear in here oh this is nice look at how beautiful this red like blazer is it's kind of made with a thicker material so it's not just some thin blazer material so definitely not something to wear during the summer we then have this jacket oh that's so cute my grandma used to love like brooches and yeah it just reminds me of her that's such a pretty one honestly everything in here is mostly just blazers it's nothing that i'm super like loving which is why i'm not really like showing it I think I can kind of show you. It's just a bunch of them. I feel good about the pieces that I picked out. I am now going to put everything back in here and try on the stuff that I picked out. Try to style a little bit. See if it, you know, works with my style. I feel good about our little thrift haul. So this is the first thing that I'm trying on. And like, if this is not like full on pirate vibes, then gosh darn, I don't know what is. This is such a funky top. And although like when I first put it on, I was like, I really don't think it is my style. Like it's just outside of my comfort zone, but like I kind of love it. I don't think it honestly really goes with the whole outfit. I would maybe put it with more like proper pants, not suit pants, but just not jeans. I mean, I think it still does work. It's just so interesting. It has some shoulder pads, nothing too intense. It's not like super like in your face shoulder pads. Ooh, ooh, yeah, I freaking love this top. This is the first thing I'm trying, but it is probably my favorite one, but I don't know. So this is technically foreshadowing on a video you won't see for a couple of weeks but I just had to put this outfit together which are these red pants and the red button up top they are two different fabrics so they kind of clash in the color red I just thought it was so fun that I just wanted to put the outfit together I do wish I had some red shoes to really do a full-on red monochromatic look this top I actually really like it's got the shoulder pads on there as well these ones are the ones that you can actually take off because they are velcro which I think is such an interesting thing especially if I take it off then you would feel the velcro but I really like them on, so I think I'm just gonna keep it. Whenever I wear something with shoulder pads, I just wanna like go like this all the time. This one, I'm not entirely sure I can pull it off. I think it's an amazing shirt, but I just, I don't know. Like I really didn't know what pants to put with it, accessories, it has shoulder pads in here as well. They're actually like kind of nice. It just has little like jewels on the buttons as well. I just feel like a magician in it. I don't know. I just feel like a magician and I, I'm definitely gonna keep it. I just will have to mess with like accessorizing because I don't think it really looks good with like jeans. It needs like a proper like full-on nice classy outfit again i don't usually wear purple so i'm like does purple look good on me i don't know so you know how i said the last one had personality well this one has even more personality i love it i feel like because it's gold i can really play around with a lot more gold accessories than I usually do. I mean, I feel like I'm not doing anything very different. Extra on the top, basic on the bottom. That's all I have to say. <laughs> okay, hear me out with this outfit. I know, it doesn't really make any sense. I was just trying to do something different because I have so many different button ups. And you know, I really like green with brown and I didn't wanna just put it with, you know, my white pants or jeans. So I put it with a skirt. Yeah, love the color, love some green. Like it with gold, this is a very specific like shade of green that I think would look so good just with gold jewelry and yeah. I really like this top. I think the shoulder pads give it a much needed structure because the pattern is so loud. Yeah, I really like it. I put it with these dark pants with just some docks to kind of keep it a little bit more like casual and I guess like grungy. I don't know if it really goes, but again, I didn't want to just put it with my other blue jeans because I've already done that with all the other button up. Yeah, I think it's really fun. The next couple are just the sweatshirts and I didn't really style them or anything just because they're just sweatshirts. They're comfy. Personally, I believe comfort over style. I think it's cool. It's very like fuzzy, you know, it says Tinkerbell. It's a good time. It's pink. I will wear it. It's very soft. It's very hot right now because it's like 90 degrees outside. So not really the best time to be wearing it, but it's cute. Same thing with this one. It's just a really comfy like fleece material. Like I just have a blanket around my body right now and I'm totally digging it. This one just says 
Mickey and yeah so this is the Christmas Mickey sweatshirt and it is in a small and it, it fits although my head barely fit that kind of hurt so I think I'm actually gonna put this one on Poshmark just because I know I'm not gonna wear it and it is technically mine it's super cute so I mean if anyone is wanting to feel like it's Christmas time right now and obviously I have a lot of Christmas sweatshirts so like I'm good I figured I would save the best for less. Uh, yeah, this is, I just, I really just wanted to try on this dress and see what it was like. I'm not going to keep it because why, like I have no reason to keep it. Also, it's really itchy. I truly, I don't have any words. I feel like a bubblegum princess. Super interesting. I just want to kind of give it a roll. Give it a, a roll, a whirl. Just want to give it a whirl. And uh, with that, I am going to end the video. Uh, well, I mean, okay, I'm gonna like, you know, say like, thank you for watching. Obviously, let me know in the comments down below which I was your favorite I think mine has to be that gold button-up it was just such a gem obviously the Disney like pins was like a highlight for me it's been really fun going through my mom's old clothes I definitely recommend if you guys have family members or friends like do a clothing swap or go through their like unwanted clothes I'm sure a lot of them are doing declutterings right now so they probably have like a bin of clothes that they can't take to the thrift store yet so going through those I think would be super fun and thrifting doesn't just mean you're going to a thrift store you can thrift other people's closets and yeah if you guys like thrifting and secondhand fashion make sure you hit subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at alexsunshine83 to keep up to date with me during the week I will see you guys on Sunday with a brand new video I hope you have a super sunny day enjoy life be happy and I love you lots bye